Hi, this is Mary and welcome to Creating Vintage. This is something I got in a thrift shop and it's a bag and it was $2.50. I have absolutely no idea what all's in it. Oh, you know, I brought scissors, but it looks like I'm going to be able to tear it right open. You know, they sealed it up, at least at some level. I saw there was candle wicking of some sort in here, and I don't know how to candle wick, but uh, maybe I'll learn. Oh, this already looks like somebody was working on it. So maybe this looks like a piece of candle wicking. It's almost like a pillowcase size. Um, there's the back of it. Like I said, I don't even know how to candle. But isn't that beautiful? Um, I don't know. I was thinking when I first saw the bag, maybe it was something I could cut up and use in a junk journal. But you know, that might make a really nice cover. It's just so big and beautiful. I'm not sure I want to cut it up. Um, this part is coming apart. Probably it wasn't finished. Um, was this side? Yeah, this side's much nicer. So anyway, there's a candle wicking. And here's another piece that looks like it's at least partially done. Do you cut these? Is that what you do after you get them tied? You cut them? So maybe this is just not finished. And maybe, maybe I can watch a YouTube video and figure out how in the world you do candle wicking. Oh, that says welcome. You see that? I don't know if the whole thing's showing welcome. And there's something, but it looks like it's just not finished or it just needs snipping. I can snip. I even brought out my scissors. These are really like my uh, cutting paper scissors. That's really, really cool. Oh, I've never even seen brown candle wicking. This. this is not candle wicking, that's probably why. This is just something embroidered. And maybe this was going to be the back of the welcome pillow. Huh. It's very interesting. This is like a thick muslin. Because it feels like muslin. It's very uh, soft. It's definitely cotton. All right. Well, there's that. Here's probably something that you could, oh, this might be even what they had done the little welcome thing on. So maybe if I had any idea how to candle wick, these are probably where you put your little knots. Huh. And I think I got my 250 worth. I think I'm gonna enjoy this 250. <laughs> Um, does this say, here's your instructions, so on how to hoop it, and, um, how you stitch it, I don't know how you'd stitch it at all, but it has some instructions there, I have a feeling these were all written before YouTube, this looks very similar, this one is Home Sweet Home, and it says they're Printed on 100% finished natural cotton muslin fabric. Aren't I good? I knew it was muslin. Uh, but it's nice muslin. Not that, you know, muslin does come in different grades. Um, all colored markings will disappear after laundry. Oh, so that's why they don't show up because these are water soluble. Probably if you wash this, you just have a piece of fabric if I don't want to ever candle wick it. So here's one that looks like it was started. Oh my goodness, somebody stopped mid-stitch. I don't know if I want to take that out, but um, I don't even know how you do this, but there's, you got however many, how many threads are on there? Four. So she has four threaded and kind of a big needle. Hmm. Interesting. I shouldn't say she, I don't know who did this. Here's some candle wick 
wicking. I guess it's just called candle wicking. And that's probably your threads all together. Interesting. So there's some candle wicking stuff, which looks like at one point it was 99 cents. It's Zayer. I haven't heard of Zayer in ages. Uh, but it looks like it was made in North Carolina. This is 50 yards. I, like I said, I have no idea what any of that means. And let's see, what else is in here? There's more. I wonder if it's mostly candle wicking stuff. See, I saw the lace and was thinking there would be piles of lace in here. And instead, it's full of a lot of candle wicking. But uh, there's some lace. And I'm guessing this was lace to go around one of these pillows or something like that because it is gathered. Um, and this would be a nice thing for junk journaling. I just kind of thought there was more in there. Oh, I wonder if these might be to do um, Christmas ornaments. Because look, there's a tree and there's a candle and some kind of, oh, a candy cane. Candy cane with a bow. And you can see there was a pattern on there and it probably at least mostly washed out. And a bell and a dove and an angel. You know, I can see how difficult these are to finish and maybe do it. Oh, this says ornaments. So they have other ones that just aren't cut out yet. There's an angel and a, another candy cane and a, another bell and another candle. And there's just an ornament and a tree. Wow. So Christmas ornaments and a lot of them are already done. And then these must be the lines where you would um, cut and then, you know, you have to clip it. So you probably then sew real close to there. I wonder if you have to hand sew that. Oh, and here's more of the back pieces, I would suppose. Those are the other side to already cut. So this is really a candle wicking kit. And there's some more already wicked. So these are partially made things. I bought somebody's unfinished candle wicking stuff for $2.50. That was kind of interesting. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more lace, but I'm always happy to get something for fun. It was really worth $2.50 to see what was in there. And I'm going to use this somehow or other, not sure. Uh, it'll be on my channel at some point. But thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you soon.